Welcome to our tutorial about creating surfaces. As you've seen me demonstrate, we can create surfaces in many different ways. In this lesson, we're going to work from the Surfaces tab. A planar surface is a surface that lies along a plane. Here's the planar surface tool. We specify the first corner, and let's just left click to specify the second corner. And here is our planar surface. So once again, this means that this surface lies entirely on a single plane, or basically it's flat. Let me select the surface again, and let's expand the Properties panel now. We see the object type is Surface Planar. We can change some parameters right from the Properties panel. For example, the line density. Let's change it to 3 and 3. Later on, we're going to learn how the ISO lines work. And let's collapse the Properties panel. Now I'm going to create a profile using the Line tool. Right click and close. And let's go to the Surface tab. Planar Surface. Right click, scroll to Object. Let's do a right to left selection of my geometry. Right click to finish the selection. And my surface executes. I was able to create the surface even though I didn't have a closed profile. Let's create a couple more entities. For example, a circle. Now a rectangle. Let's go to the Surface tab. Activate the Planar Surface tool. Right-click and select Object. Let's select the rectangle and the circle. Right-click to finish the selection. And we've got two more planar surfaces. Let's create some support geometry now. We'll use the Rectangle tool. And let's extrude it. Right-click and Enter. Something like this. Dynamic UCS is toggled on. Let's activate the Spline command now. Place our spline right about here. Right-click and Enter to close the Spline tool. Let's turn off Dynamic UCS. Place the second spline about here. And I'll snap to this corner. Right-click and Enter to close the Spline tool. Okay, as you see, we have two splines here. Let's select our box, right-click, Isolate, Hide Object. And let's activate the Loft command now. I'm going to select my first spline. Now the second spline. Right-click and Enter to finish my selection. Press Enter again to execute. And here is another surface. Now, as you probably guessed, that's not a planar surface. Let's expand the Properties panel. The type of surface is a loft. OK, let me pan my work left. And let's place a line about here. Activate the Extrude command. Select my line. Right-click and Enter to finish selection. Height of the extrusion, 4 units. Press Enter to accept. Here we've got another planar surface, but this one was created using the Extrude tool, and that's indicated in the Properties panel under the Surface Type. After our surfaces are created, we're able to manipulate them. For example, we can extrude them. Let's extrude this circular surface. And let's zoom extent so that we can see all of our geometry. This concludes our tutorial about creating surfaces.